How you doing everybody? Welcome to Stand Focus for Jesus. This will be a um, probably a quick little video, but you know, I've been saying that Pope Francis is the false prophet or whatnot, a false prophet of revelation. But the Holy Spirit has really been putting some things in my spirit, and I just watched a video by uh, a brother in Christ or whatnot, and he kind of like touched on the same thing. Well, he was saying that, you know, saying and believing and teaching that uh, Pope Francis is the false prophet too. And I'm believing now that Pope Francis is, isn't the false prophet, but he is the Antichrist. Now, I'm not saying for sure or 100% that he is, but just based off a of scripture that he gave a uh, brother in Christ or whatnot, and what the Holy Spirit has been revealing to me, uh, Pope Francis is possibly the false, uh, excuse me, not the false prophet, but uh, the Antichrist or whatnot, and not the false prophet. As some of us have been saying, myself, I have said that he is the false prophet of Revelation. Um, many things that you know the holy spirit has been revealing to me that just make perfect sense and we know that satan counterfeits everything that god does we know that the um roman catholic church as a whole and pope francis uh the pope i call him satanic francis because he is satanic um satanic francis believes that he is the vicar the replacement of christ that he is uh he is that it when he is christ or whatnot um, they have their church so if he is the replacement of Christ in their eyes then that would mean that he would need a body he would need a church which would be the Roman Catholic Church and we know how many members they have you know worldwide just like Jesus is the head of his church and then he has his body which is the church so we see the similarities just in that alone we know that satan counterfeits everything that god does it just makes sense also we see how pope francis satanic francis presents himself as 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 the most humblest man ever he presents himself just like jesus would present present himself or whatnot in that sense of being humble but we know that his humility is false um, also, we've seen how when he came to America, people were worshiping him like like crazy. You know, it, it was ridiculous. You had the the uh, guy from Philadelphia who drank his water. Like, really? He, he stole the water to drink it, and all oh, this is why, like, the water was so holy or whatever. Um, all type of. Uh, different things that we can go down and listen, you know, compare and see, okay, this stuff is starting to make sense. It, it's, this stuff is starting to line up or whatnot. So, also in Revelation, the Antichrist comes before the false prophet. And then that coincides with what's in First Thessalonians about the Antichrist being revealed or whatnot. Um, see anything else that I want to hit on or touch on or speak on but I believe that I'm not 100% sure on this but I believe that Satanic Francis either him or whoever you know comes after him if somebody does come after him what now we know about the prophecy if you want to call it that uh, that they say that Satanic Francis is the last Pope. I don't know how true the prophecy is because, you know, it hasn't came to pass yet. So uh, we don't know if he's the last Pope or not. Somebody may come after him. We don't know that. Just have to wait, you know, wait it out. As the Lord, you know, as the Lord is going to reveal different things to us as time goes on or whatnot. If we are here that long, because we don't know how long we will be here. But um, there's so many things that are lining up, and I can go, like I said, I can go down a list of different things, but I just pray you take this time to study it out for yourself and see if what I'm 
speaking about. If it makes sense to you, take it in prayer, ask God about it to reveal it to you. Like I said, he hasn't shown me 100%, but that's where the Holy Spirit is, I feel like is leading me and showing me based off of scriptures, based off of truth, and not just based off of, you know, oh, this is how I feel or whatnot. Because I was saying that he was the false prophet, the false prophet or whatnot. And now I'm like, you know, I take that back. I repent of that statement that I, that I made about him being the false prophet, publicly um, stating that, that I repent of that statement because I've been saying that um, in certain videos that I put out and everything, the false prophet is right here in front of our eyes and people can't see it, stuff like that. The Antichrist already in place. So when he who now letteth will let when he has removed the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, who dwells in us, then he will be revealed. And the transition will be smooth because he will be already in place. If true born again believers are taken out of the way, who's going to stand against sodomy? Who's going to stand against all these different things that we've seen? Pope Francis doing and people worshiping him and, and the stuff that he was saying when he came to America and all the stuff that he said before that who's going to really stand for truth when we're gone you can't take away the Roman Catholic Church out of Bible prophecy I mean you know that they play a, a, a major part in it so, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to add anything, um, you know, I don't have all the answers. I'm, you know, learning and growing just like each and every one of you. And that's the purpose of the videos I put out. Uh, so we can, you know, fellowship and, as you know, uh, God tells me to do, have the people to think, which is you. God makes me think, and I turn around and I... Do what God is uh, giving me to do to have you think. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do, to have you to think and not be comfortable in, uh, in your walk in the faith of Jesus Christ and be led by the Holy Spirit so we can all grow, uh, grow in God's grace and share the truth and more importantly, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So... If you guys have anything in your mind, if this has been in your heart also, or you want to share anything, you know, hey, share away. I'm listening. Uh, I love each and every one of you. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. And as always, stay focused for Jesus. He's coming.